We know we all have this tendency to drift, but how do we combat this tendency to drift? Our flesh wants to tell us that there's freedom in doing what we feel, freedom in relaxing, freedom in drifting. But as long as you solely remain focused on your own life, the own next wave that's coming, crashing over you, you'll keep drifting. Listen to where Paul in Galatians says that true freedom's found. He says in Galatians 5.13, For you were called to freedom. You were called to freedom. Don't use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love, say it with me, serve one another. One of the number one ways I think to take care, to pay attention, to be alert, and to keep your heart from drifting and going cold is to serve to look out for others. You see, the opposite of a heart that's falling away from God is a heart that's drawing nearer and nearer and closer and closer to God. And you're never more like Christ than when you're giving your life away. You know, our sanctification is just a way of describing to what degree we are beginning to act like, think like, live like Christ. And it's supposed to be growing throughout our entire life, growing into the one who said he did not come to be served, but to serve. You never look more like Christ than when you're giving your life away. So I ask you, are you looking for ways in your community group? Are you looking for ways to be useful? Are you simply showing up? Are you coming into your group with a contributor mindset or that of a consumer? Let me encourage you to take care, brothers and sisters. Take care by finding ways within your group to serve in order to keep yourself clinging to Christ and looking away from yourself. Give yourself away for the glory of God. Keep your heart tender rather than hardened to his word his people, and the calling he's placed on you. This could look like a lot of different simple things throughout the next year. It look like simple things like playing in hangouts on off nights to give your leaders a break and you take responsibility and let them rest. Bringing snacks or a meal, giving the babysitter a ride, hosting your group when the normal group, normal host is unable. I, I don't know what serving your group may look like. Bringing a meal when someone's um, hurting, showing up to someone's house when, like my friend did when I had surgery and mowing my lawn. But I do know if you go to your group leader and say, hey, is there a way I could put my hand in the pile and be useful this year? How could I serve? They may have some more specific ways that you could be useful to build up your group and keep your heart from drifting by looking out to others. 